tragedy. Thank you for subscribing for six months in a row. I tip my hat to you, sir. Ugh. So, let me know if the lag and everything is alright for you guys. Uh, let me know if there is any lag. And let me know if the stream <laughs> quality is alright. Um, last time we had a terrible recording session. I looked at it. It was terrible. Well, not in terms of how things went, because things are going pretty good. We've got ourselves a nice Bijapur vassal here. Winning a war against uh, Orissa and Gujarat, and Orissa is a co-belligerent, so I'll be able to more or less full annex him. So, as far as that goes, things are just peachy key, you know, but, um... Well, I have to th see how things go as we uh, scurry along here. Now, let me do some testing. Testing one, ooh, can't see it like this. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing one, testing two. Epidemic sound seems a bit loud. Testing one, testing two. In trouble hearing myself talk here. Testing one, testing two, testing one, two, one, two. That should be alright. Let me know if there's lag. Okay. There's no lag? Why, hello there. Welcome back to EU4. Um, as you may or may not be able to tell, this is a new recording session. But, uh, there was a bit of a skip here. Because originally... I, uh, I made this save to send it to a bug report to Paradox because uh, Orissa's war score is bugged. It's at 82%, but I've got him fully occupied. So, hold on, let me get my game sound. So there, there, there was something weird there, and we figured that the fix for that was to siege down to Final Province. Well, we, we didn't know that, that when we made the save, but we know that now. The fix for that is to siege down to Final Province. Regardless, I made this peace deal, and I screwed up really hard, because I was supposed to give Maul a, a coastal province, so I could sell him a ship later. And uh, it broke the alliance with Maul. Now, there is no coalition yet, because, uh, well... People don't really want to form a coalition, but there is going to be a coalition, and it's gonna be bad. Okay? So there's going to be a coalition, it's going to be bad, also I have to, uh, unfortunately, I think, move my focus on to, uh, on to, uh, military. No, well, well, we won't do that, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, there is going to be a coalition, and if I don't have an ally, I can't give away my ally's land, so I need to not piss off Malwa. Now, I know I can do that. I know that's possible. Uh, I just have to figure out how exactly. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll figure things out as we go along. Now, I don't want to core this land for myself. Because um, I don't have admin yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer. Yeah, I think he can make this jump. Let's see if uh, if Bijapur can make this jump. So I'm going to give him uh, Kalinandra. Unfortunately, there is, as of yet, no way to measure distance. So I think, I think he can make this. So I'm just going to give this over to Bijapur. What's his tech, anyway? He's on tech 4. And then we can uh, we could potentially give him some Arissa land, because there's no vassal here that I can uh, really feed, and I want to be the one that borders Malwa, not a vassal of mine. So I want to keep some of this land and border Malwa myself. Otherwise, Malwa is more likely to be really pissed off with me. And don't rival Jampur. I can't ally Jampur, it's impossible. What I can do is ally uh, Timmy, Tim Tim Timmy. 
And uh, maybe Ming, but Ming is a bit of a long shot. Uh, unless I can sell him a ship, right? But he's in debt. He always is. Fucking bastard. He's not always in debt, but I think he's got uh, Mandate lost. So, he's going to be in debt anyway. Uh, regardless, we have to see to them the final province before we're even able to do anything, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Now, last time we lost our alliance, not necessarily because Malwa wanted to uh, eat me. Well, partly, but uh, mostly because... Um... Because he rivaled me. And he rivaled me. But I can also make him not rival me. By uh, deleting some of my ships, I think. And uh, some other shit. First of all, though, let's go take care of those rebels. God, decline of the nobility. What am I going to do with that? Oh, I remember this. Uh, they're going to lose that in uh, in a relatively short time period. But I might want to lower it to uh, less than 85%. Otherwise, it increases a bit too fast. So they're going to slowly start ticking down. But uh, in two years' time, he's going to fix himself. I mean, the uh, influence is going to go away. Now, I could probably sell a ship to Bengal. The problem is he's allied with my ally, Mola. I, I still pretty much want to sell him a ship, though. I can't, because he's got... Um, his naval force limit is too low, but maybe, just, just maybe, I can uh, force Orissa to return Midnapur to Bengal, and that increases his naval force limit, and then I would be able to sell him a ship. Now that sounds really stupid, but if you think about it, it's actually quite clever. Because if I can sell him a ship, I can fight that guy with no problems. Of course, he is allied with someone. He's allied with uh, Malwa in Nepal, and he's fighting war against John Poor. One that I wouldn't want John Poor to win. John Poor is on tech 6, though. Like, that's a problem. So, uh, I'm not so sure what to do with that. Let's get these uh, ships home and gather them up a little bit. Now I'm over my naval force limit, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, scuttle some ships. These ones are certainly going to get mothballed. These ones are going to protect trade in Bengal. And then I've got uh, 13 too many ships. That seems a bit much to throw away. So let's do this instead. Yeah, got six too many ships, but we can manage with that. Okay, and we got Reva Kanda down. For some reason, Malwa occupied this. I'm pretty sure at the last second I switched it around. Um. Now, what do I want to do? Because first things first, we ought to peace out Orissa. Yes! Bishop Orr can reach it. Alright, so do I want to do that trick with Bengal? I, I'd really like this land. 
Even if I do want to make do that trick, I'd want to build up a spy network first. Because I'd want to be able to dow him almost immediately, otherwise he's going to get completely destroyed by John Poor. Then again, if he does get completely destroyed by Jampur, we might be able to sell Jampur a ship and then we'll have India. Because I'd be able to sell Malwa, Jampur, and Bengal a ship, and then they'd all be dead. What's uh, Bengal's force limit? Is he at his naval force limit? Uh, let's just check. His force limit is 28 and he's got 28 ships. Yeah, so he's at his force limit. Uh, is the chat alright? No, the chat's even dying. Now, we can't sell him a ship anyway, so that's that's a bit of a problem indeed. So I could sell him this province, but there's nothing stopping him from uh, just building up his military later. I could take it and not core it. Until he's out of his war, and then I can sell him that province back. So I'll get money for the province, and then I can sell him the... Um, then I can sell him a ship, cripple him, and fight him with no losses. Yeah, that'll work. Of course, he's still allied with Malwa, so we're gonna need to somehow break that apart. Of course, he is having his independence guaranteed by Bengal, Jarkandis, so we might be able to, like, dow him. And then uh, fight Bengal that way. But then he wouldn't be a Koba later, and then I'd only be able to ask for 50%. Or I need to get into another war with Malwa. Yeah, I could keep this province until the opportune moment, I think. Alright, so first things first, let's peace out Arisa. So we want this, for sure, we want that, that, this, that, 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 that. Oh shit, I kinda wanna take the... the fort. So we'll take this... Um, but not until Call for Peace happens. Yes, I'm certainly going to give Malwa Kutch. He's got a claim on it, so he would want that. No, that doesn't always mean in everything. Sometimes they'll uh, they'll act really weird and they'll be like, "No, I don't want this." <laughs> Certainly, don't need to be paying for our tips whilst we're waiting, though. And we're waiting because we kind of want to pick up admin ideas, and there's no sense piecing out now. Well, I mean, there is. I suppose there is in the sense that if we piece out now, we could. Uh, we could start getting war exhaustion to drop down. Yeah, okay. It's, I suppose that's fair. So we'd have to go piece, piece him out then. Yeah, we're doing good, but uh, there's a lot of buts and ifs to this, because it, it might just go really wrong really fast. <clears throat> Well, so much for making money. Uh, 
Okay, so let's be Satorissa. I'll take everything. And we ought to uh, destroy that fort. How much overextension are you on? Okay, he's on some overextension. But we can release a second vassal right here. Because the question is, if he is at war with Jampur, we might not even need um, help. And he doesn't even have Tech 6 yet. The, the, the thing is, the problem here is that he's um, allied with Malwa. And we're going to get call for peace soon. I mean, this war started one year ago, so it's not like we can quickly go fight him. Because you need 50% to make the allies not join. No, let's, let's not do that. And now we get to the difficult part. So we have to transfer this over to Malwa because we have to give Kutch to, uh, to, to uh, Malwa so that we can sell him a ship. Yeah, and then this will work. My only border with Malwa would be Katia War, so I'll keep Katia War for myself. And I'll give the rest to... Um, <clears throat> to my new vassal, Amanagar. Oh, thank you, uh, Fruit Strike. <laughs> ah, you trapped the Indian coalition on Ceylon? Ah, oh, I'm very proud of you. That's good. Yeah, okay. This will work. I hope. Maybe. Can I uh, send you like a gift? And then we'll piece him out. I had some troops from Balochistan. Oh my, Timmy is uh, going ham. Although this province alone is freaking huge. It's the size of John Poor and its redevelopment. <laughs> okay, so let's make this deal. So now, well, we want to give away some land to Bijapur, so let's do that first. I'd like him to have uh, Srikulam and Katak and Balasore. And then I could give him Gartat and Zambalpur and Jarkant, but uh, I'd really rather not, because if your vassals border your ally, um, your ally is much more likely to be like, hey, fuck you, Flory, I'm gonna break the alliance and die you in five years. If you border your ally, they're much more likely to be forgiving, and they'll be much more likely to be, okay, it's fine. So... There is that. Now we're going to destroy this castle here. And then we ought to uh, release a new vassal called Amun Nagar. And he is going to get South Gonkan and Surat. And Bhav Nagar. Gurnar and 
Navanagar. And then we'll keep Katiwar. And then we'll have uh, borders with all of Malwa. So he does want my provinces, but not as badly as it, as it could be. Okay, so now who to rival? Well, <sighs> certainly Gujarat. Other than that, I don't really know. Protect our brethren in Patan. I don't even know where that is. Okay, so that would give me a claim on Gujarati province. But Malwa's already got a claim on that, so I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. No, I'll just keep uh, one rival slot unfilled for now. Now, I can't sell Malwa's ship straight away, because he needs to core this province first. Speaking about coring things, what's my overextension like? It's 33%, uh, that's not that bad. <sighs> so my relationship with uh, Malwa seems to be safe. For now. And it looks like we'll be fighting Bengal through Jarkand, but then I'm not going to sell them this stupid shit. Shit. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, he rivaled me. Shit, dude. How am I gonna fix that? I need to make myself uneligible to be rivaled, I think. So that he rivals someone else? Because then we'll be fine, because we can keep the alliance. Yeah, we have to make ourselves uneligible to be rivaled. God damn it. I'm gonna bird that, because that is, uh, that's GG, right there. So I've gotta delete troops. And make myself uneligible to be rivaled, and then he's gonna have to leave me alone. Just until he rivals someone else, and then we'll be good to go. Is the only reason why he, uh, why he rivaled me is because because he just had to rival someone, and I must have been at the top of the page. Bird and sell him a ship. Yeah, I I have to wait until he cores the stupid province. So can't do that. And I'd love to backstab Malwa, but uh, they're on Tech 7, and they're quite powerful, so... Alright, did I piece out thingy here? Yeah, I did. Did I piece him out here? No, I haven't. So, and we'd probably also want to improve relations until... Uh, Until we're at a hundred, just to be safe. <laughs> no, he has to core this province before I can give him a ship. So if we're going to do that, we may as well, uh, well, we certainly want to delete these. Get rid of the mercs. Let's make our army as small as possible. rid of some more ships. If I peace out Gujarat first, uh, the war will end because... Unless it's random in who he rivals, in which case we just need to get lucky. It might just be random. 
So I know he can rival Delhi. Yeah, and we're going to Dao Bengal through Jarkant. And we also need to think about the future, so we probably ought to uh, improve relations with this guy. What I actually... maybe what I can do is... Um, build up a spy network on Bengal and then we could... Um, So we have call for peace rate, but if we build up a spy network on Bengal and then peace out Teresa, we can reset call for peace. Might even be able to do it long enough to pick up uh, that. No, there's no way. It's uh, 800 points. Besides, after piecing out, we're going to lose more dip again. No, no, it's impossible if my vassal controls it. I think. Don't know for sure, though. See, because we take out Orissa, that removes Orissa being a valid rival target, and then he rivals someone like me, but I, I'd really rather have him rival something else. So I'll wait until our relations are all the way up to the max, and then we'll uh, do the piecing outings. It's the only thing I can think of. I, I, I'm hoping that I'm not going to be the, the only rival target, though. Mm. Oh no! Yes! Sweet, my air died. My air was retarded. Alright. Not that my ruler is that good right now, but. So we make this deal, destroy that fort real quick. We'll uh, send this guy some money. And unfortunately my Theologian died. And I can't get a new one. But this one's cheaper. And he's an Inquisitor. Actually, I don't want to convert the Maldives. Kinda need to keep a Sunni province. It's a piece of shit province, so I'm gonna raise the autonomy there, because there's unrest. There's gonna be unrest there forever, so I may as well raise it. Now let's uh, send them a gift. Come on, we ought to keep this stupid fucking line. Let's check his, um... Yeah, we didn't even take any provinces that he really wanted. So that can't be it, right? Yes, this could be bad. Now, I want to give this over to Malwa. Yeah. Yeah, I do have Twitch emotes. Look! 
I got this shit. Now, please don't rival me. Oh. I'm over 100% over extension. We ought to give uh, land away. Alright, so... <clears throat> Let's give Shrikalum to Bijapur. We'll give Kutak away. We'll give Balasori away. And uh, that's really about it. I want to keep the rest myself. And then re release Amanagar. And then I'll give him South Konkan. I'll give him Surat. Bhavnagar. Gurnar. And Navanagar. Now, please don't rival me, you stinking bastard. Also, we ought to tech up. Now, now we get it's like a crossroads. I can either take this and go for that, or I can take Atman and be able to court things myself. Um, I'm not out of that yet. Please don't rival me, man. Yeah, the 50% coring, but the 50% coring isn't that bad. 